Okay, we've got two gentlemen who are on Monday's youth list. Uh, Gus is a rollover from Saturday. Aviator is a new one on Monday's youth list. Uh, Gus is a volunteer favorite, not gonna lie. We are very, very um, uh, partial to this guy right here. We've all gotten to meet him. Uh, he's done very, very good boy. Who's that? You saying hi to him? Good boy. I mean, he just does, he's done fantastic with other dogs. We've thrown a lot of different dogs at him and he hasn't shown any sort of issue with any type of dog we've thrown at him. He's just a chill guy. Tim was able to pretzel dog him. We've got video or photos of that, like little lift him up, put him in a pretzel position on that bench right over there. So this guy just loves being with people, just loves being outside. So we had, even though we tested him yesterday, we want to bring him outside, get some sunshine, and hopefully some adopters could take a look at him. Gus is 1855-6598. Uh, He's a seven-year-old, dog that doesn't look, it doesn't act it, but he's seven years old, unneutered male, like I said, chow. We, I definitely see some Sharpe in that face also. And he's been here about three weeks. He's 57 pounds. He is high heartworm positive, so we do have to get rid of those nasty, nasty um, heartworms. Aviator, little guy right here, has uh, kind of been a surprise for us. We really enjoyed this guy. He's a good-looking little fella. Um, calling him a lab mix, he's not. He's got like kind of that little, uh, what do you call him? Huh? Boxer, maybe a little black mouth cur, but I mean, I, yeah, I see a little like a mini boxer, uh, kind of a short snout. Good looking boy. I mean, the, the coat's in great shape. Maybe he could use a couple pounds, but he's a little guy. He's 185-7642, owner surrender. We talked about this, brought in the day before Christmas so they can make room for the Christmas puppy. Hallelujah. But at least I will say this, he is heartworm negative, which is fantastic. I don't know if that was by luck or by actually giving him preventatives, but at least he is heartworm negative. And again, 43 pounds. Let's walk them down here together. Come on, Gustafer. It's our new nickname for Gus. Gustafer and his buddy, Aviator. Aviator's a cool name. Gustafer and Aviator, that's a cool, cool pairing right here. Here they are. Cool. Yeah, Gus doesn't care. I mean, Gus just likes to be like doing something. It's like, wow, you guys are paying attention <laughs> to me. So cute. He really is. <laughs> he's got some battle scars from the streets, but you know, he's some notched ear marks. Uh, probably had to, you know, fend for himself out there, but sure doesn't act like a dog that doesn't like other dogs. Just that's life on the streets. Um, Aviator's a really good looking boy, look at him. He sees something over there, maybe his own shadow. Maybe he sees himself in that mirror, get reflected. Come on, baby, let's walk back, come on. I mean, so far, no issues, um, but not that we, uh, we didn't expect one from either one of them. They were both, they both got to meet. This Aviator's the one that met Scully briefly and you know, licked his mouth and Scully growled at him. Aviator had zero reaction whatsoever. It wasn't Aviator's fault, he was just giving him a kiss. So Aviator seems to like them. We have, uh, two unneutered male dogs walking with each other, which is really good. Come over here, Gus. Walk with your buddy. Here you go. Look how close they are. This is the key. I mean, this he keeps wandering. Come over. Look at this, folks. This is what we hope for. I know. This is so fabulous. Just two boys, unneutered, just met each other, and no issues whatsoever being in each other's zone. Just two and beautiful boys too. All right, Gus Aviator on Monday's Youth Major List. They're down to now hours, guys. Let's get them networked. We got to get them saved. They're beautiful boys.